Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to round seven of the Super Late Model Regulation series. Today, we tackle the fantasy track that may or may not be a better version of Phoenix, the Desert View Speedway in New Mexico. Welcome everyone, I'm Mikey McBlam, your commentator and driver of the Valvoline Green Machine, and though we're coming fresh off a win that slinger, the work to get back to the points lead is only beginning. We've managed to work our way back into second in standings after the previous race with only 18 points separating myself and Eddie Crawford, who is making sure we have our work cut out for us as he is starting this race. P1 leading this band of hooligans to the line. Green flags in the air. Let's bring the noise here at Desert View Speedway. First three laps of the race are complete. Got some big old nose damage there after got into the 23 of Carpenter now battling for P15 with our old number, the 83 of Eric Erickson. We clear him no problem. Ooh, got on that apron just a little bit. Not a big fan of the apron here at Desert View. I feel like you should be able to run down there just a little bit. Not, I mean, it shouldn't shoot your car up to the racetrack so badly, but to be fair, I did get on it quite hard there as we're gonna try to work our way up into the top 10 here. Brett Thompson ahead of us. We put a big old nasty slide job on him. Work our way into P13, Jesse Wright. About to give up a spot. Oh man, big run down the back. We pull another slider. On Chase Jones there, we had uh, Jesse Wright who tried to follow us on through, but the 53 is out front to, a, to an absolute commanding lead. Eddie Crawford is trying to lengthen that gap he has to us. Like I said, only 18 points are separating myself and the points leader, Eddie Crawford. Got into the back of 105 there. So try to get around him. Already up into the top 10. Billy Green up ahead of us. Looks like Tommy Bailey is also right there in that 71. Uh, I'm sorry, 79. Excuse me. Ooh, got into that wall a little bit, but we're fine. We're fine. We're keeping it going. But like I said, I I really, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this racetrack, uh, given its shape. We've caught up to Lee Green, going to try to get to his inside. And just take over that spot. And there's Carpenter again, who messed up our nose earlier on in the race. Uh, it wasn't really his fault. It was just like a big old stack up going in, uh, uh, coming off of uh, two, I should say. But, yeah, I wasn't sure how I was going to enjoy this racetrack because, because of the shape of it. Uh, sometimes, like, fantasy tracks that have, like, these weird odd shapes can have some weird stuff going on. But it, it seemed to be pretty fun um, in practice. Obviously did not do any qualifying as we start from the back. So we get around Tommy Bailey, work our way into P8. Bobby Collins up there right ahead of us, and then we can see Kevin Murphy. But but like I said, like it's it's a pretty fun racetrack. You can you can you, you can do really well going into turn number one. And then off of turn four, you can really drive it in hard into turn three and just pull up in front of the guy in front of you, kind of like pull some dirty slide jobs there. And because there's so much racetrack to catch you out of three. You can really ooh, got into that wall just a little bit. You, you, you got some. It's a little bit more forgiving, you know. It's a little bit more forgiving, so you can really get some good runs and kind of game the system a little bit, because the AI is definitely not going to make that type of move on you. 
as we are uh we were battling side by side having a good battle with robbie collins but unfortunately i had to like just go ahead and lay back Ooh, almost got up into dead hill was trying to pull that slide job off and uh they were a little bit slower than i expected but they're stuck behind lap traffic Ooh. Almost got into the back of Margie Brooks there. Going to get to her inside. And I'm not sure what this track is modeled off of. I know that there are racetracks that somewhat resemble this shape, but I'm not sure what it's actually modeled off of. I don't know if it's actually supposed to be modeled off of Phoenix. I don't think so, just because of... Ooh, a little contact there. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's modeled off of Phoenix. I think it's more modeled off of uh, another type of short track. Get to the outside of the 67. Right around him. Oh, almost got to the back of the 32 of Carter there, but we kept it off of him. I'm not sure if that's Bobby Carter or not, you know. The, uh... The NASCAR Heat slash uh, 704 game slash Monster Games fantasy driver that seems to pop up pretty much all, <laughs> yeah, pretty much everywhere. So if you're not familiar, I think Bobby Carter actually started. I don't know if Bobby Carter is a real person or not. I mean, I think he is like he's probably one of the developers that worked on the, uh, the Heat games um, and possibly this game as well. But I think... If you're not familiar with it, he actually started out, whoa! Big crash up ahead of us, that was Samantha Bell. Samantha Bell goes around, we're gonna start P4 on the outside lane. That just absolutely killed Eddie Crawford's lead. He did not wanna see that. Here we go, green flag is back in the air, a little bit of wheel spin. Ooh, got really loose going into one. Managed to come down and protect our position, maintain P4. We're gonna catch up to Harry Nelson here. Big run down the back. Gonna pull a slider. Nope, he's gonna hang on that outside. Actually, he gives the spot away. All right, Eddie Crawford's got his hands full with uh, Brian Ramirez. Ramirez goes on by. He takes over the race lead with 19 laps to go. Here at Desert View. Oh, here comes Crawford. Crawford's battling back on the inside. He's going to take over the race lead. And he is going to pull a little bit of a slide job on Ramirez there. Ooh, can we get to the inside of Ramirez? Not quite. Give him a little bit of a tap. Letting him know we're there. Oh, he shuts the door once again. Ramirez going for the lead off turn number four. They're side by side. I thought about taking it three wide, but I'm not going to do that. To the inside of the 53, to the inside of Ramirez for the lead. Well, sideways th off the turn number four. And caution will eventually come out, I'm assuming. Yes, it does. Oh, man. That was, uh, that was definitely some NASCAR heat physics going on there. <laughs> um, got into the side of the 71 of Brian Ramirez. And it just kind of shot me out uh, to the bottom of the racetrack, got into the 53. He was able to kind of take advantage of that, but we were, you know, we, we didn't have any control over our car, unfortunately. Yeah, Shades of uh, NASCAR Heat 3. I'm not a big fan of that, but that just seems to be, oh man, Ramirez was really slow off of that corner. I'm not sure if he's got any damage from that incident as well he shouldn't but yeah that's definitely shades of nascar heat 3 you've heard me mention it before but yeah you make some contact with the side of the race cars and unfortunately it just seems like it wants to just it just wants to knock you down the racetrack which you know it doesn't make any sense but it is what it is we're just gonna have to try to be a little bit more careful working our way up to the lead as Harry Nelson, who surrendered the race lead, is now about to take over the race lead once again. He gets around Eddie Crawford. I'm trying to keep Eddie in my sights, man. Like, it's, uh, 
It's go time. We got 18 points separating us. As of right now, he would gain just a little bit on us, so I'd like to try to pass him. At least beat him. Obviously, the goal is always to win the race, but uh, I would at least like to beat him. Eight to go. Whoa, there it goes again. Sideways on the front stretch. Caution will come out again eventually or not. No, we will not have a caution. All right, we just did a nice little 360. Tower just said, yeah, track's clear, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I was only in the middle of the racetrack. Thanks, guys. A little, a little bit of that. Oh, man, yeah, car is done. Car is really, really tight now. Yeah, I got no, I got no front grip. Oh, that's unfortunate. We're going to try to see if we can get around Brian Ramirez, but... Ah, uh, five to go. No way we can get back up there now. Yeah, we'll be able to get around Ramirez because he's going to get choked up by the 23. But that, that might be all we can get. Four to go. I don't know. We're, we're, we're pulling on the 53 here. Maybe we can catch him. Maybe we can catch him. I'm not entirely sure. Three to go. Oh, yeah. Got, got held up behind Chuck Diaz. He's getting through traffic a little bit better than I am. Like I said, I'm battling a real tight race car right now. I'm kind of having to really be easy coming off, getting back on to, getting back into the gas. There we go. Pull a nice little slide job there. One lap to go. The number four is about to win this race. Harry Nelson wins the Super Late Model Series race here at, at oh, I thought he was going to get up. <laughs> I was getting excited for a second there, but yeah, Harry Nelson is going to come away with the uh, race win. Eddie Crawford in second, myself third place. All right, guys, so here are the race results for the Super Late Model race here at Desert View. Harry Nelson wins the race. I believe that is his first win of the season, followed by Eddie Crawford. We almost pulled that second place away from him on the final corner of the final lap, but he beat us there by just a few hundredths of a second. Brian Ramirez is fourth, and Ned Hill will round out the top five so huh, interesting run for ned hill yeah i don't remember him being up there uh the for most of the race so good run for him uh we have robbie collins kevin murphy samantha bell billy green and tommy bailey will round out the top 10 and here is the rest of the field where you can pick out your favorite fake driver marge brooks and eric erickson with top 20s chuck diaz just finished outside of the top 20 got a few new people here al carpenter and william william wilson uh not uh two new cars that would have not been participating in the previous races but they uh Made their mark today by, I guess, finishing towards the back. And here are the point standings after Desert View. Just 22 points separate myself and points leader Eddie Crawford. So he 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 uh, he definitely legged it out today. He definitely legged it out today. Probably could have and should have had a win, but uh, it is what it is. I believe like the the two cars that were going to win this race didn't win it, but. It, it happens, you know, it happens. Brian Ramirez is uh, rounding out third. Yes, that was Harry Nelson's first win of the season. So GG for Harry Nelson. Samantha Bell rounding out the top five. These are the usual suspects that are always up here. You have Kevin Murphy, Robbie Collins, Chase Jones, Ned Hill, Toby Bailey rounding out the top ten. Uh, let's see if they check on those new guys. Um, because I don't believe they're going to have many points. They're probably going to be up here towards the, or down here towards the back. Uh, Harold Rodriguez, new guy, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, Al Carpenter, definitely towards the back here, Vince Thomas, okay, uh, there's a second Eddie Crawford in here for some reason, I'm not sure what the deal with that is, Norm Gray, Martinez, Zach Edwards, and there's William, alright, so, yeah, he was definitely, uh, a new, new driver, new driver, so we got some, do some new heads that pop up every now and again um probably some guys are local local track guys that's the lore we're going to go with all right guys so that concludes the race at 
Desert View in New Mexico. So next race is going to be at Honeysuckle Grove. Uh, I wish I had some NASCAR 3 Heat 3 things going on in the race. And obviously you guys saw it post commentary. Mikey commented on it and everything. But um, yeah, just you, you have that weird thing where it's just like you make contact with the left side and it spins you out. Well, you make contact with the right side. It spins you out to the left and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, not sure why we didn't get a caution for that uh, for that second spin. Maybe because we recovered so fast. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the the time limit is on the on the cautions in this particular game. But yeah, kind of got one. Uh, kind of got one uh, taken away from us there. But um, almost got second. Almost got second. Would have liked to take that away, but unfortunately just just a few hundreds of a second short just a few inches short you know like you know baseball is not the only thing that's a you know a game of inches so next race is going to be at honeysuckle grove in wisconsin i'm thinking this is going to be a pretty decent race just because like i've seen a lot of people race at this particular racetrack it seems to like you know it, it's it's more traditionally shaped um, if we go and look at it here, it's like it's more traditionally shaped third mile 75 laps around here So it should be a it should be a fun race. It should be a fun race um, Surprisingly not a lot of cautions in this race other than myself So, you know, like there was me that spun out well twice Well, there's only two cautions one because I spun out the first time but Samantha Bell um, losing it, I believe, off turn number two. Not 100% sure, but uh, yeah, she was the only other caution. This race went a long period of time with not a lot of uh, not a lot of wrecks. So, which is interesting because it's that was such a unique, sh uniquely shaped racetrack. You know, more like you know, shaped more like Phoenix essentially. So, um, but. It is what it is, guys. We're going to move on to the next one, and we have three races remaining, I believe. Uh, this one, Honeysuckle Grove, Walnut Creek in Michigan, which is a half-mile racetrack, so that's interesting. Um, we don't go to many of those. And then rounding out the season at the Nashville Fairground. So we're only 22 points. Only 22 points. We can make that up. We can make that up, but we have to run well and we have to just, I guess, avoid the uh, weird physics things that still do happen in these particular games. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you do not miss an upload. Uh, leave a like on the video. We'll be back next week, I believe. I think I can get another one of these out in a week. So, uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you at Wisconsin.